Why are you wasting your time with a disrespectful woman just because how she look? Y'all stick around, man. We're going to bat iron on this. Welcome to the manhole. I'm your host, DJ Kevin K. Guys, why y'all wasting y'all time with disrespectful women? Why do y'all continue moving forward with a disrespectful woman with a disrespectful woman and then end up falling in love, getting attached to her? Just because how she looked. Now, to be honest with you, that really shows an insecurity on your behalf. That shows an insecurity on your behalf. It's something, man, you're going to have to look down inside of yourself and you're going to have to figure out what it is about yourself that you're missing or that you're insecure about and you're going to have to start working on that. You're really going to have to start working on that. If you're tolerating a disrespectful woman, just because how she looks. Now, I know some of y'all think that having a little mouthy woman and a little firecracker is attractive. And it could be at first until the train gets off the track. Until you connect the wrong wire and the bomb blow up in your goddamn face. Till your feet slip off the gas pedal. It's all good to, uh, as long as none of them, none of those things are happening. But once one of them happen, then guess what? You're going to start to feel like it's misery in the making. Just give it some time. Soon as one of them happens, soon as the bomb blow up in your face, soon as your feet slip off the goddamn gas pedal, then you're going to start to start to think back like, damn, man, how I get myself into this here? And you're going to wish you never, ever would have met this little mild chick that you're dealing with just because how she looked. Matter of fact, she's going to start looking ugly. Matter of fact, every time she do her hair, put on makeup, she just ain't going to even look good no more after a while. But you ain't going to be able to get rid of her because you done got attached to her. And now you got to put up with this foolishness. And a lot of women think that's cute. A lot of women, that's, all, that's how they've lived their whole life. They just go around chirping, 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 chirping. Got an opinion on everything. You try to tell them something, they always think they got control of something. They always want control of this and have a say in this. Run around here talking about, oh, I'm going to speak my mind. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not one of them women that don't speak their mind. I don't know. You want me to sit down and be quiet? I'm not like that. I ain't never been like that. Nobody don't want to hear that, man. You just talking. You just talking. That's all you're doing is just talking. And it gets annoying. And nobody wants to hear a woman like that. Because number one, because the main reason is because it's, it's just masculine energy. It's masculine energy. And the only way you can deal with masculine energy in a woman is you got to just become a feminine. You, you just got to have feminine energy. So you got to dump down your manhood in order to deal with that masculine tendencies. Her masculine ways. That's the only way because two masculine people can't exist in the same relationship. Eventually, that shit fit to blow up, man. That shit fit to blow up. No matter how you look at it, man, that shit fit to blow up. No matter how you look at it, it's not going to work. That's just like having two feminine people in the same relationship. And when I mean by feminine, I don't mean by... See, see, y'all think every time somebody say feminine, they they, they, they mean uh, uh, homosexual or gay. No, man, it's... it's Feminine energy is you reacting to your emotion based on the situation instead of reacting to the situation. Instead of reacting to your emotions. That means you're able to think. If some calls you to react right now, you got to react, you got to react. But some, uh, but if a situation arrives that you're able to think, then you think and you don't operate with your emotions. It don't mean you don't have no emotion, but you just don't use that as your primary tool. But nevertheless, two feminine people can't operate in the same relationship. E eventually, it's going to clash. 
And a woman, if she feminine, she gonna want, she gonna leave. And if you feminine, she still gonna leave because she don't really want no feminine man. Now she masculine as hell, but the other masculine person gonna bring the uh, the submission. But man, good luck with that bullshit. Who in the hell wants to be arguing with a mouthy ass woman all the time? <laughs> Some of y'all like that. Some of y'all think it's cute until she on the phone cussing you out from 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 sun up to sundown. Because you ain't pick up the phone. And then you got to apologize. Then you got to sit down and justify every time you do something. Every time you go somewhere. Give us some kind of excuse. Explain yourself all the time. Them type of women that go tit for tat with you in a relationship. They be basically trying to tell you how, to, how you need to do as the man. But y'all think that's cute though, man. It ain't cute. It's not cute. But once you get yourself involved, then you're in a world of trouble. You're in a world of trouble once you get yourself involved with a woman that shoots off at the mouth all the time. Like to be disrespectful. Just because she look good. Just because she cute. Just because you think she beautiful. And to be honest, man... Probably you and a few others think she look good. The rest of us think she probably all right. That's to be honest with you. You the one infatuated with her. For the most part. For the most part. But you let that your lust and your eyeballs guide you down a, guide you down a, 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 a path of no return. Dealing with mildly women. And the moral to the story is, guys, if you get yourself involved with a woman, make sure that you show her respect and she shows you respect. You listen to her, she listen to you. And you make your decisions accordingly. Always stay in a man's place. Always stay in a man's place. That's what we do over here. We stay in a man's place. Don't try to get over there in that woman lane because you can't play in a woman lane. You're going to lose. And I know some of y'all been raised by your mamas and they know and wasn't raised around no men like talking about it. So you done picked up a lot of her ways, a lot of her traits, a lot of her habits. But you need to find your way out of that. You need to get around some guys that 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 uh that that's masculine. That don't react all the time based on their feelings. That sit down and talk with common sense. Thinking things out. Understanding they self. Make sure that they demand respect for others. That's what you need to do. But don't play over there in that lane, that feminine lane, man. Don't do that. Anyway, man, I want y'all to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.